The secret's out. Ocean Springs is not that little sleepy community anymore it used to be. Everybody that comes here loves it and they end up either coming back and visiting more or they move here. Last year we received visits from 46 states and four countries around the world. On a non-COVID year, we usually welcome about 500,000 people to the community of Ocean Springs. In 2021, we saw about 350,000 people that came from those different states and countries. It's uh, primarily the people. The people are friendly, um, they're very open, they're welcoming, and, uh, and it's the quaintness of our town. I've enjoyed being the mayor. It's not one day that I wake up and think, man, I don't want to go to work this morning. And uh, so I think that says a lot, but it also says a lot about our community too. The way the city's situated, uh, you can be downtown and then you can be on the beach. And uh, the county has helped out tremendously with the beach here this past year. The county has stepped up and put in a drainage swell to catch the, the upland runoff, which seems to be working very well. We had a hold up on replenishment of the beach because of permitting. That's all worked out now, so the beach will be replenished completely by, by this summer, and it will have a beach back to what we were used to. This summer, we should have the prettiest beach on the coast. Ocean Springs continues to grow. It's a never-ending rejuvenation of what this town was built on, what the city was built on, and that's culture. So we see that from our perspective here downtown, obviously with the festivals we participate in, but really a large portion of that is a campus expansion that we're undertaking right now, and that's with funds through the Gulf Coast Restoration Fund that was appropriated by the legislature run through Mississippi Development Authority, and that's all about economic development. So as we see, whether it's Government Street or East Ocean Springs continue to grow, we also see the cultural anchors of Ocean Springs, like the museum, uh, continue to flourish and expand. We do have some projects going on, the county, uh, my district with the city of Ocean Springs. One of them is a road that we're actually building. It's called Steelman Lane. It runs off of Ocean Springs Road. Like I said all along, city's got to grow to the east. Uh, that's where the vacant land is. That's where the, the neighborhoods are popping up. And, uh, and we're also, I think we're gonna experience some positive growth uh, in the downtown area. You mentioned workforce development. I think people are talking about this, and it's not just on site when we think about our staff, but it's a lot of what we do with our educational programs and what we're doing in our campus expansion as well. It's thinking about art and creativity in line with innovation and conservation and the blue economy. So a lot of what we do is to give students applied skills so they can go not just be artists in the future, but be whatever they want to be. Coming up this year, something we're pretty excited about, we're going to kick off, is our own Fire Explorer program. What it is, is we'll, we'll select through a process approximately 10 individuals, hopefully diverse individuals, and we'll go through that process and then we'll pick them to be a part of this program and then we'll actually bring them in and they'll actually spend time here. You know, there'll be requirements, they'll have uniforms, they'll be a true explorer program and learn more about the fire service in general. You know, the goal in that is uh, retaining some of them to uh, be a part of our organization. This 1515 Government Street, that uh, parking garage, it's gonna have a boutique hotel with condominiums, parking garage, some food and beverage in there. The building is occurring everywhere. I mean, we can drive around Ocean Springs and see the work they've been doing on the gas lines, all those little holes that are cutting the road everywhere that are an inconvenience as you, as you witness it being done. It's gonna long-term be good for the infrastructure of Ocean Springs. And thankfully the city, the city leadership has seen that that's a needed project and they're, they're fixing the things that aren't really the glamorous things, but the things we've gotta to have to continue our growth. In the last several months, we've actually seen growth in our hotel rooms in our downtown alone. So we actually hope in the next year you'll see more of that happening because we are known as a tourist destination and our business, as we say, is small business with over 150 shops and restaurants in walkable downtown. It's just natural that we're going to have a lot of that partnership and tourism growth. So we have, you know, in, in downtown Ocean Springs, parking is always a premium. Our parking lot has been kind of the gauge we have used. When COVID struck, you could always find parking at the Y because people were afraid to come into, the, to, into our facility. We're noticing that our parking lot is beginning to fill up and people are having to drive around for parking. It's become such an issue that we are looking to expand the parking we have available. So that's just not a barrier to people to enjoy the Y. Our school district is ranked in the top two or three every year as far as academics go. 
Just in terms of the educational system, I will tell you that over the past 10 years that I've been superintendent, um, what we've actually experienced is positive growth every single year. Um, we have, we've moved from being an A district to now having every school in our school district rated A. Um, we are number two in the state in terms of academic growth and performance, but our high school has also been ranked number one. Um, we are so impressed by the number of individuals who continue to move here for an Ocean Springs School District education. Uh, the fact that we are the home of the Greyhounds and everyone really wants to be a Greyhound is something that we take great pride in. So for us, it has always been around arts, academics, athletics, um, really making sure that we not only honor the diversity of our student body, um, but also that we continue to tap into just really the, the eclecticness of being an Ocean Springs Greyhound and continue to build on that history. Uh, Highway 57 Ocean Springs Sports Complex. It's been fantastic. These fields are, are top notch. Uh, we've been working on parking and, and drainage ever since it's been built, but that's just part of living on, on the Gulf Coast. We're, we're hoping to grow this facility. Our rec department, Baseball League, has over 500 uh, registered players. Uh, softball, well, they have 12 teams now in softball. It's growing. Soccer, there's no telling how many players we've got. Our town is very much uh, reputable around the arts and the chamber does an amazing job of promoting the arts and creating opportunities for artists and, and for our community. We've been able to integrate some wonderful partners that we have here at the Mary C. They are who we've connected with. They're all creative entrepreneurs. They are who bring our events and programming here. Um, they are the heart of the building. And so to connect that relationship with creatives and city uh, to, to make our events that much more dynamic. As Ocean Springs Hospital has grown over the years, we have around 150 beds. With that, we have around 1,000 employees that work here at this campus affiliated with Ocean Springs Hospital. I know the city is always focused on bringing in more jobs, especially high paying jobs, and healthcare fits that need. So we have uh, really worked our way up to around 1,000 and we're poised with our recent expansion we had about seven years ago. We actually built uh, an additional shelf space, so we're poised for the future to grow with the city and to add more jobs. Well, a lot of people don't realize about our police department in Ocean Springs is that we are one of the first accredited agencies in the state of Mississippi, so that was quite an accomplishment. Uh, every one of our command staff happens to be graduates of advanced law enforcement management programs like the FBI National Academy or the Northwestern University School of Staff and Command. Our city's done a great number of forward steps uh, to enhance our recruiting efforts to get more police officers. And we really have great support from the uh, mayor and the Board of Aldermen, and without that support, we wouldn't be able to get where we are now. Ward 2 is very, is very utilized for, for events. I mean, we have the Spring Arts Festival, we have the Red, White, and Blue Festival, we have Cruising the Coast, we have the Peter Anderson Festival. We host 13 festivals and events a year. That's more than 12 months of a year. So we always try to do something to generate revenue, generate traffic, generate commerce into Ocean Springs. We're going to close Cash Alley from Government Street to DeSoto, and that's going to be pedestrian only. That's going to make the walkability on that street much better. And, and with, with the mayor's idea, with the signs to enter and the lights covering the street, is going to be a real great addition to the downtown. And that's how communities succeed. It's about understanding, just like Walter Anderson would say, that everything is interconnected. And when we work together, we can accomplish great things. Whether you're a resident, a visitor, or a business, Ocean Springs is the place to be.